Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For today's video, I wanted to show you how to get this look right here. I was inspired by the nail color that I have on right now, as well as my shirt. I was thinking about doing something really pretty, like summery and really just fun. And I like the peaches and the greens of my shirt. And I figured it's such a pretty summer look. Why not do this really fun color combo? I feel like I wanted to be a little bit more creative, but still keep it really wearable. So if you like to see today's look, don't forget to subscribe down below and keep on watching. Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks again for watching. So as you can see, to get started for today's video, I did do one eye. And I did this because I did want to kind of see, you know, like what I was going to do, what colors I was going to use. I was a little confused as to if I should go like more orange or less orange. But I did want to match with my shirt, which is right here. As you can see, I wanted to go matching with the colors that are here, kind of like the greens, the green in my nails, as well as the colors that are on my shirt. So. Yeah. So that was the inspiration for today's look as well as my earrings, which I did get at Charming Charlie. They had an amazing sale, so I was like, yeah, I gotta go, I gotta get them. So, anyways, let's start with for today's look. So to get started, we're gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. I absolutely love this palette. It is so fun and so colorful, so many great colors in it. To get started today, we're gonna be using this color right here. This is the color Dawn, and I'm just taking it on a fluffy brush. So I'm first taking that color, tapping off the excess, and I'm going to apply it right here and just sweep it upward. And the reason I'm doing that is just so I just have a nice, even base all throughout my head. So that I just have one color and all this coloration and it's all the same. Then I'm going to be going into the color New Wave, which is this shade right here. It's an RNG shade. It's super, super pretty, so different. I love it. So I'm going to be taking that same brush, because I do want it to be nice and fluffy, and applying it right here. So just a bit above the crease, because I really want this color to stand out. Next, I'm going to be going to the color Roxy. So I'm going to top off the excess, and I'm going to apply the color Roxy right in the crease. So I just really want to define the color right here. And I really love the mix of these two colors. I feel like they're just so pretty. And it just really brings out the color Roxy and kind of like that peachy forms. I think it's so pretty. You just really want to bring that right here and really define your crease with that color. It's going to be this color right here. It is such a perfect brown shade. I absolutely love it. So we're going to be using that color today. This is a Wet n Wild blending brush. So I'm going to be taking Part of this brush on one side, adding some of the color fudge onto it, tapping off the excess, and then applying it right at the edge. So you just want to tap it in. Now we're going to be taking some concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in light medium, and I'm just going to take very, very a little bit on the back of my hands. And I'm going to be using a Morphe E26 brush. I'm using this side right here, and I'm just going to take very, very a little bit like a tiny bit of concealer onto the brush and I just want to little, 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 like just cut the very inner part of my eyelid just right here and I'm just doing this because on top of this I'm going to add a green shimmer shade and I just really want the green to really stand out so for the green shade today we're going to be using another one of my very favorite palettes this is by Lorac. This is the Mega Pro 4. I use this a lot for photo shoots, and I mean a lot, because you'll see now it has so many colors. So we're gonna be going into the color Moss, which is this amazing green shade right here. It's so, so pretty. I love it. I feel like it's such a unique color. So we're gonna be taking that color today, and then going right in. And look at that green color. Oh, I just love it. It's so pretty. And then I'm going to be going into this brush. This is the SLM Miss Glam, and this is a short shader brush. It's super, super pretty. I love the gemstones on it. I think it's just so different and so unique. So I'm going to be taking this brush, and again, I'm going to be taking the color Moss again from the Lorac palette. And I'm just going to go right ahead, right underneath the lower lash line, and really, really blend this out. I want to drag it a little downward, and just blend it out. Last but not least, we're going to go back into the subculture palette and we're going to be taking the color Electric, which is this shade right here. It's super, super pretty and it just has such a nice pop. 
So I really want to take it and put it in the inner corner just so that you can see right here. It just really helps to open up the eyes as a really nice pop of shimmer as well. So I'm going to be taking it on an Eagle Tools brush just like this. And I'm going to take some of the color, tap it off, and then apply it right onto the inner tear duct. Just like this. And you can see it just really helps to pull this look together. It's just so pretty. And it just helps to define and make that green really come alive. For mascara, I'm going to be using two of them today. I'm going to be using the Sumptuous Extreme Mascara by Estee Lauder as well as the Bad Girl Bang Mascara by Benefit. So these are the two mascaras that I will be using for today. And the reason why is because one of them adds a lot more volume, which is the Estee Lauder one. And the other one really helps to kind of feather them out and really separate the lashes and further define them. Um, I find it looks best when I use two different mascaras because I feel like it really just adds so much more definition and sometimes combined they work a lot better than they do separately. So that's just my preference. You don't have to do this obviously. Um, but yeah, but that would be a tip that I would give to you all today. So I'm going to be applying some of the Estee Lauder mascara right on the bottom. Okay, and then some on top. And I love this mascara for the brush because if you really look at the brush closely, you can see how defined it is. I mean, it has so many little bristles and it really, really does grab onto every single hair. Like even the really tiny ones in the center and all the way at the end, it just grabs them all. Um, so I'm going to be going into my Ride or Die Lately, which is the Morphe Debutante Bronzer. So I'm going to be taking a bronzing brush and just bronzing up my skin. Every time I do this, I end up messing up my hair right about around my hairline. I have to keep a spray nearby, that way I can fix it always. And then to highlight the face today, I'm going to be using this Becca highlighter. And this is the color Champagne Dream. This is a light chaser highlighter. It's really, really pretty. This is what it looks like right here. And it's a gorgeous, like, kind of peachy, gold, beautiful, beautiful shade. You guys can see, like, how pretty it is. Because it has, like, really nice gold, but also, like, peachy, pinky, kind of, like, reflex. So I just love it. I look like today's. So I'm going to be using the So Susan Cosmetics Lip Dome in the color Mango. So this is it right here. And then I'm going to be taking the Estee Lauder Pure Color Gloss. And this is in the color Mandarin. So I'm going to first start off with the So Susan Cosmetics. This is the Lip Dome in the color Mango. And it's really easy to line your lips and to apply. I love this because it's so quick to apply it and it's like done in one, two, three. So pretty. And then just to add a bit of like gloss and like one of the orange color, I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder color in Mentor. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I feel like it was really fun, really wearable, really summery, and I really hope that you guys will recreate it and tag me if you do. I'd really love to see the looks. Also, I have some really exciting news to share with you all. So me and my boyfriend Marcus are going to be vlogging soon. So we're going to be showing you guys a little bit behind the scenes of our lives, how we create you know, inspiration for our photo shoots, how we put it together, just our day to day, and just how we work together as a team as well as a couple. So if you guys would like to see that, don't forget to follow our Instagram handles. I'll leave them right here, as well as subscribe to our channels. And again, I'll link this channel right here so you guys can subscribe. Thank you guys so much again for watching and we hope that you stay tuned for our vlogs. And until next time, remember to always create a life that you love.